tuna casserole is so easy to make, it's inexpensive, and there are several different recipes out there, but I like mine simple. I find sometimes that simple is best, and especially with this tuna casserole. So we're gonna start out with a medium-sized pan, turn your stovetop eye or your burner onto about a medium setting. We are going to add three cups of water and just a little salt. If you're following along, once that water reaches the boiling point, we are going to add two cups of elbow macaroni. Let's give it a stir. We are going to cook this per the instructions on the back of the box, but I do like to take mine off a little bit early. It will start to soften, but it's not quite done yet go ahead and take it off because we're gonna cook this a little bit more and we don't want it to be mushy. Also, I like to rinse my pasta and get some of that starch off of it. And yes, I know I'm not supposed to let it drain down the drain, but you know what, that's, that's what baking soda and vinegar are for. <laughs> but um, you do you. But now we are going to put the pasta in back into the medium sized pan. And at this point, make sure your stovetop burner is off. Add a can of cream of mushroom. Let's give it a stir. At this point, you can either add water or milk. And I'm gonna add some milk. I mean, you can even add half and half if you'd like to. But if you wanna keep the cost down, just add water. So I added to begin with, maybe a half a cup of milk. And we are going to go ahead and cut that stovetop eye or that burner back on, and you're gonna put it on a low setting. You can even set it on simmer if you'd like. Add two cans of chunk light tuna that's in water. I don't recommend the oil, uh, the tuna that's in oil, but I like to use the tuna in water. But again, to each his own and you do you. And just a tip for some of you new cooks out there, if you are trying to feed a large family, a good rule of thumb is one cup of macaroni, one can of tuna, and a half a cup of milk or water. So I use two cups of macaroni and two cans of tuna and one cup of milk. And then if you wanted to make more, you'd just keep going, if that makes sense. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a stir, and you will not want to leave this at this point because it can stick on you, depending on how much milk or water you added to it. You will need to move this around just a little bit. You don't wanna stir it vigorously because you don't wanna make turn that macaroni into mush, but you will need to move it around. Now we're gonna add some pepper, and I like lots of pepper. Now for the secret to really good tuna casserole. You are going to add some ground mustard. Yes, ground mustard, and not a lot. Just maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of ground mustard. Now, if you are doubling this recipe or making a larger pot, do not go overboard with that ground mustard. Uh, typically, if I'm making a large pot, I only add about maybe a half a teaspoon. I don't add salt to this because I did use a can of cream of mushroom and then we've got the tuna, so it doesn't really need salt. And if you're on a low sodium diet, I wouldn't recommend it, but you do you if you wanna add salt to it. You can either eat this right out of the pot or you can pour this into a baking dish if you're having guests over and just make it a little more, I don't know, pleasing to the eye and yummy because I'm going to top this with some cheese and you can use whatever cheese you like. I had some Swiss cheese, quite a bit of it, and I wanted to utilize it. So that's what I put on top of this. And then we are just going to pop this in the oven and bake this for maybe about five to 10 minutes until that cheese melts and gets all gooey on 350 degrees. And voila, 
dinner is served. And if you want something on the side, I like to eat crackers with it. And you know what else, guys? This is good cold the next day.